Recently, 3D Gaussian splatting has emerged as an appealing approach for real-time novel view synthesis. However, due to its volumetric nature, it is unsuitable for surface modeling, which can hinder its application for downstream tasks such as relighting and material editing that require surface normals. We suggest using 2D Gaussian instead of 3DGS to model radiance fields. Our approach involves distributing volume density in a planar disk instead of a 3D blob, similar to a traditional triangle mesh. This allows for a well-defined planar normal as the steepest change in volume density. The planar representation reduces pre-integral ambiguities introduced by splatting, benefiting high-quality surface rendering. Further, the similarity between a 2D Gaussian and a triangle enables easy conversion of 2D Gaussian to triangle meshes. Our method is related to several recent techniques that have adopted a similar idea to use thin 3D Gaussian or those that attempted to obtain surface normals from 3DGS. Some approaches treat the normal of the shortest axis of the 3D Gaussian, while others derive surface normal from depth maps as additional learnable parameters. However, these methods do not adopt a real 2D planar representation, and their effectiveness for geometry reconstruction is still unknown. We propose 2D Gaussian splatting, a method allowing for real-time rendering of high-fidelity radiance fields and capturing complex surfaces. Given multi-view RGB images, our 2DGS optimizes a set of 2D-oriented disks to represent and reconstruct a complex real-world scene. These optimized 2D disks are tightly aligned to the surfaces, with their normal approximates the surface normals. With Gaussian splatting, we then convert the 2D disks into whole-free radiance fields, allowing more immersive experiences to explore reality in the digital world. We use 2D Gaussian splats to represent a scene. Gaussian splats are elliptical disks that have a center point, two tangential vectors, and two scaling factors that determine the variance. We can efficiently evaluate the Gaussian value on the local coordinates of the elliptical disk. Our rasterizer is built on top of 3DGS, and it integrates previous perspective-accurate surface splatting techniques to enable real-time radiance field rendering. However, combining previous perspective-accurate splatting with Gaussian splatting doesn't yield satisfactory results. We demonstrated the instability that occurs during the training process using image fitting as an example. We have discovered that the problem is due to certain poorly conditioned transformations, specifically those involving 2D splats viewed from a slanted perspective. These transformations having high condition numbers lead to numerical instability during training, making it difficult for differentiable rendering. To overcome these limitations, we propose a ray splat intersection scheme. Firstly, we transform the 2D splats into the view space. We then send rays to the splat space to calculate the intersections. This can be efficiently done by several operations. This process avoids explicit matrix inversion, making it a more efficient and stable solution. Further, we take great care to address the issue of anti-aliasing that can occur during training. Anti-aliasing happens when we don't have enough pixels to render the Gaussian. This typically happens when we view the Gaussian from a distance or a slanted angle. To prevent missing Gaussians and ensure a stable gradient flow, we need to apply a low-pass filter that guarantees sufficient pixels for rendering the 2D Gaussian. Unlike 3DGS, which uses a screen space low-pass filter, we use an object space approximation for efficiency because we evaluate the Gaussian in the object space. With our carefully designed rasterizer, we are able to apply differentiable rendering to previous surface splatting, eliminating the visual artifacts and unstable gradient flow during training. Besides, our ray splat intersection allows for a continuous depth map that is consistent with the surface's normals. This depth map will serve as the foundation for the meshing 2DGS. In short, our differentiable rasterizer builds on 3DGS and combines previous surface splatting techniques to produce a more accurate perspective and depth.
we outline the different techniques involved in our 2DGS and 3DGS. Here, we provide some side-by-side -side visual comparisons, demonstrating that our differentiable rasterizer matches 3DGS. When using volume rendering, our 2D Gaussian splatting can produce noisy surfaces when optimized only with photometric loss. To illustrate, Array only has one hit for an ideal hard surface, which, however, differs from Gaussian splatting's volume rendering. For example, spread out Gaussians might result in a similar color and depth rendering. To mitigate this issue, we propose a depth distortion loss to concentrate the weight distribution along the rays. We also proposed another loss to encourage the inspected normals consistent along the ray. With the help of our regularizations, our method allows the production of a consistent and clear depth map. Our regularization approach is similar to MIP NERF 360, but we go beyond weight distribution regularization on the ray samples. We directly encourage Gaussians to move closer together through the gradient of intersections, resulting in fewer artifacts and sampling errors. With the multi-view consistent depth maps, we can effortlessly use RGBD Fusion to extract textured meshes. Here we compare the geometry of our method with 3DGS using rendered depth maps. It can be seen that our method produce clear depth map and reduce floaters in the free space. Here are meshing results.